Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to be with you at this Congress. My name is Mrim Tantawi from Faculty of Sciences, Ilmsik Hassan to University of Casablanca, Morocco, of the Subatomic Research and Applications Team, Department of Physics. I'm going to introduce a topic called Statistical Analysis of Dosimetric Data Obtained by 3D Conformal Radiotherapy, 3D CRT, and Volumetric Modulated Arc Therapy, VMAT, in prostate cancer framed by Professor Mustafa Karim and Professor Abdelkirim Kartoni. I will follow the following plan, the purpose, method and material, the results, interpretation and conclusion. Radiation therapy is one of the treatments used to treat prostate cancer while relying on the principle of irradiating the tumor by sparing healthy tissue. There are different modalities of radiotherapy used to treat this type of cancer, which leads to it to identify the difference between them. The purpose of this study is to compare by statistical analysis between 3D conformal radiotherapy and volumetric modulated arc therapy and to give a model to, of confirmation of the difference between the dosimetric results obtained by each technique, the existence of which has not previously been statistically proven. This is taught the use of the student's test for a sample of 14 patients with prostate cancer. This test appears to dosimetric parameters obtained after validation of treatment plans according to each radiotherapy technique. Our working method is established on several essential stages which I present in the form of a well of a, and its direction of rotation is that of the clock. The first is the choice of patients. The study was established on 14 patients with prostate cancer who have the same treatment protocol. The second step is delineation of volumes. Each PTV corresponds to a delineation of a very precise volume, the target volumes called in radiotherapy planning target volume PTV, which were irradiated named PTV1, PTV2, PTV3, correspond respectively to the volumes which received a dose 46 gray and 54 gray and 74 gray. We can thus see this delineation by this transfer scat removed from the TPS. The latter corresponds to treatment planning system. The next step is the choice ballistics. In conformational technique, but the ballistic chosen were four beams called the box technique, one anterior, one posterior, and two lateral is awaited. X-ray photons are used at 18 MV. Static multi-flip collimator are also used to better comply. Uh, with the PTV and collapsed cone as computational algorithm. In VM80, the ballistics into arcs are of uh, 360 clockwise clock counter with a low energy X6 and Monte Carlo as computational algorithm. The other parameters are defined later, taking into account the reverse planning technique. At the end of each dosimetry, verification at the, of the validation criteria was established for each technique, in other words, a good distribution of the dose on the target volume while sparing the organs at risk. This treatment planning was established on the Monaco planning system of the company Electa and the dosimeter was validated according to the dose constraints given by ICRU, AT3 and SFRO. After validation, we noted the following dosimetric parameters. Since this study focused on the statistical comparison of the dosimetric parameters obtained by two different radiotherapy techniques, which are 3D CRT and VMAT, this statistical study is based on students' low since the number of patients is between 4 and 30. And we used the following mathematical relations for the calculation which we integrated on programs based on the language C for the calculation. The statistical results of all the dosimetric parameters of the two different irradiation techniques were compared to each other using the student test to try to ensure the information collected from the limited number of patients selected and to label results from the purely statistical methods. The results and interpretation. Mean and confidence interval. In this study, the averages of the dose parameters vary from one technique to another shown in this table. Regarding the max dose, its value is a high chair that's of uh, 3D CRT in PTV2 and in PTV3, and the opposite in PTV1. 
This can be explained by the fact that VMAT focuses more maximum dose in the middle of the volume and not uh, on its extremities. Therefore, the surrounding healthy tissue is not at risk of a high dose. The value of the standard uncertainty on the determination of the true value of those marks is high in VMAT compared to that obtained by 3D CRT with values of 0 0.154 and 0 0.115 respectively. That what automatically generates that the 95% confidence interval is wider means that the probability that the mean value of 49.147 is outside this interval is 0.05. Therefore, the estimate of those marks for a sample of 14 patients is not sufficient compared to the interval obtained by uh, the 3D CRT. On the other hand, this margin of error shows that this parameter takes several values, which can be explained by the fact that the technique adapts more to the morphology of the patients, of the patient, that is to say, to the shape of the volume. As regards the index of conformity assessment and homogeneity of those, the general procedure taken into consideration is to test a hypothesis and prove that is true or false. That is, assuming a uh, hypothesis called null hypothesis is testing it to reject or keep it and then concluding which is proven. First thing is to look for the critical region like we see now. At the level of significance of 5% and 1%. By searching on the, the student table, for uh, 13, uh, assuming the number of degree, uh, degrees of freedom, the region is divided for the first level of significance uh, uh, T uh, critical 5% and T critical uh, 1%. Therefore, the null hypothesis rejection region for significance level 5% and 1% is respectively any T defined like what we see uh, higher than T, T uh, critical and uh, uh, less than uh, uh, minus T critical. First thing, we took three tests to unilateral and uh, another uh, test bilateral. And we posed for the first two tests the following null hypothesis, uh, the technique in question is ineffective in terms of the index chosen. And for the third, both radiotherapy techniques demonstrate the same conformation and homogeneity of those distribution. The results was uh, for uh, questions one and two, uh, hypothesis, hypothesis uh, null uh, rejected for both indices and for uh, all PTV except confirmation index in 3D CRT concerning PTV2. And for uh, third uh, test, the results was that hypothesis null rejected for both and this is for PTV1, the later uh, includes all the rest of the PTVs in terms of volume. Correlation. The correlation test concerning the required parameters of each of P the PTVs on the table shows that the correlation coefficient R is similar to R equals zero since P is greater than 0.05. This correlation explains that each of our variables, that is to say each of the values of the dosimetric parameters generated from the application of each of the two radiotherapy techniques, are not associated. In other words, that there is no relationship between this where the difference is proven between 3D 
CRG and VNAT, except that this difference did not appear on the values of the correlation of the plane of PTV1 and homogeneity index of the plane of PTV2, which corresponds respectively to P equal minus uh, 0 0.22 and uh, R equal minus 0 0.605 and P uh, equal 0 0.48 and R equal uh, minus uh, 0 0.536. Therefore, these results can be interpreted as follows. The correlation in 3D CRT and thus obtained by VMAT are strongly associated with the subject of the linear relationship between the two variables since the values of personal correlation coefficient are close to mi minus one and that the significance is less than 0 0.05. In other words, the coefficient is significant. Concerning organs at risk, the correlation test on the table shows that the value of the p-value is less than 0 0.005, so it seems that the results obtained are very significant between 3D CRT and VMAT relative to the volume of the bladder and that of the rectum which received 60 gray and 70 gray, as well as the volume of the abdominal cavity, which received uh, 50 gray, and that uh, the, the R values of the latter approach one, which shows the strong force of the linear relationship between the two variables in each of the two radiotherapy techniques. In this study, generally, the p value is less than 0 0.05 and even takes zero values. It was significant in most of the organ at risk. This shows that the, the correlation has an important meaning, that is to say that these two techniques differ at the dosimetric level of the organ at risk. We have noticed from the results obtained that the correlation value increases when the volume shrinks. We can also explain this by homogeneity of the biological composition of the volume since each PTV differs from another volume in terms of homogeneity. This is due to, to the fact that each PTV includes densities more than the others and that each one of uh, the, the organ risk is more or less homogeneous in terms of density since it designs a single organ each time. And when we talk about uh, comparison, it is very important to take uh, into uh, consideration of the differences between dosimetric parameters. The differences between the means of the dosimetric parameters obtained by the organ at risk, at risk were taken into consideration, since they prove the remarkable difference between the values obtained by VMAT and those obtained by 3D CRT. All the differences are negative. Since the subtractions were the first term were values obtained by VMAT, which means that these were larger than those obtained by 3D CRT. In figure 4 and uh, figure 5, with on the margins of error around the estimates, tell us the range of, over which the real values of these differences are estimated. The results were considered statistically uh, significant with a value of P inferior than 0 0.05. To conclude, the results of this study indicate that there are significant differences between 3D, CRT, and VMAT in most of the relevant evaluated uh, values of the target response, organs at risk, and normal tissue savings. VMAT shows better savings for the later. Thank you for your attention.